Um, any more? Que one more question. Yes. One second. There is one more question or comment. Uh, I was just curious about the relative stability of this kappa, kappa phase uh, as compared to the uh, spinel and uh, corundum. Is it stable in bulk, for instance, or uh, what factors do stabilize it? Okay. 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 In uh, and what's the size of the nanoparticles? That okay. That's nice. Okay. 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 Let's thank the speaker again. <laughs> And we come to the last talk of this session, which is the optical control of dielectric permittivity in wide gap aluminates, given by Dr. Nagai. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Chair Person. Uh, I'm Takayuki Nagai from Nagoya University in Japan. I'd like to talk about the optical control of dielectric permittivity in wide gap aluminates. Uh, this is uh, outline in my talk. Uh, first of all, optical tuning of physical properties has opened the way to develop the new photoelectronic technologies. For example, uh, photoconduction is applied to photosensor, and photovoltaic is applied to solar cell. And in contrast, the dielectric materials as elemental components to design the electronic devices. So by combining them, we would be able to develop the photo-tunable dielectric materials, and it will probably shed light on the innovative photoelectronic photo devices. Photodielectric effects are the changes of dielectric permittivity induced by the photoirradiation. These effects have been reported so far in sulfide phosphorus and quantum pyroelectric strontium titanate. Let me summarize the features of conventional photodielectric effects. This figure, sh this figure shows the frequency dependence of real part and the imaginary part of dielectric permittivity in strontium titanate. First, the dielectric permittivity is enhanced only in the low frequency region. Then, the device type relaxation is observed in at kilohertz region. Uh, finally, the dielectric loss increases fatally. The origin of conventional photodielectric effect is caused by photoconduction. So, the conventional photodielectric effects are unsuitable for practical applications. Uh, what can we do to find the materials with photodielectric effects not, not caused by photoconduction? Our approach for this issue is the generation of photoexcited carriers with significantly low mobility. If you can introduce uh, a deep in gap states, the photoexcited electrons are localized. And uh, if you can choose the materials with flat balance band maximum, the photo-excited holes are localized. Based on this, uh, in this study, we focused the perovskite type oxide random aluminate. Uh, it has a wide band gap, low permittivity, and the balance band maximum composed of oxygen 2p orbitals. Uh, with these properties, we can introduce uh, photo-excited electrons and holes with low mobility. So the localized photo-excited carriers probably work as dielectric displacements under the applied electric field. The purpose of our study is the development of materials with uh, unconventional photodielectric effects. I will show in my talk the unconventional photodielectric effect, which was found in heterovalent zinc substituted random aluminate. 
This slide shows the experimental procedure. Uh, we synthesized the polycrystalline sample by a solid state reaction method and confirmed all samples to be in a single phase state. Then, the dielectric permittivity is measured under the photo irradiation. Light sources used in the present study are LED and xenon spectral light source. The energy levels for various defects uh, in lanthanum aluminate are calculated by first principles calculations under these conditions. In this slide, I will briefly introduce some problems in the measurement of physical properties under the photo irradiation. They are influences of local heating by the photo irradiation. Uh, in this work, we employ the non-contact infrared thermometer. This picture shows the homemade photodielectric measurement system using the infrared thermometer. Uh, with this system, the influence of local heating was successfully corrected in the present study. I will move on to the experimental results now. Uh, this figure shows the uh, frequency dependence of dielectric permittivity and tangent delta in zinc substituted lanthanum aluminate and pure lanthanum aluminate, respectively. Uh, the black circles indicate the results for dark state, and red circles indicate the results under the photo irradiation. You can see uh, in the low frequency region, the dielectric permittivity and tangent delta are remarkably enhanced uh, due to photo irradiation. Uh, in addition, the dielectric uh, relaxation is observed in the low frequency region. Uh, these are conventional photodielectric effects due to photoconduction. Here, please look at the high frequency region. You can find here the homogeneous enhancement of dielectric permittivity. Uh, this is the most important result in my talk. Uh, this behavior is different from the conventional photodielectric effect I mentioned at the introduction. In addition, the tangent delta is too low for conventional photodielectric effect. So this behavior is just the unconventional photodielectric effect. Uh, furthermore, no enhancement of dielectric permittivity is observed in pure lanthanum aluminate. Uh, this result suggests that uh, the heterovalent zinc substitution is important for the emergence of unconventional photodielectric effect. This figure, sho this figure shows the uh, result for a switching measurement. The dielectric permittivity is measured at 1 MHz under a blinking LED. A vertical axis indicates a relative change of dielectric permittivity from the value in the dark state. Uh, when the LED is turned on, the dielectric permittivity increases immediately up to 7%. In contrast, the, when the LED is turned off, the dielectric permittivity decreases quickly from 7% to 2%. After that, the dielectric permittivity, permittivity decays gradually uh, towards to the initial value. These results suggest that uh, there are at least two relaxation processes for photo-excited carriers with short and long relaxation times. This is uh, uh, excitation energy dependence of unconventional photodielectric effect at 1 MHz. The horizontal axis indicates uh, excitation energy, and the vertical axis indicates the relative change of dielectric permittivity. You can, you can find the dielectric permittivity increases steeply at 3.5 electron volt. This energy is lower than the band gap energy of lanthanum aluminate. Uh, this, result this result indicates that 
the deep in uh, the in gap states are introduced by the heterovalent string substitution. Next, to clarify the origin of in gap states, we investigated the uh, energy levels for various defects in lanthanum aluminate by first principles calculations. Uh, in this figure, uh, the results for only vacancies are shown. Uh, among them, the in-gap states of oxygen vacancies are located at 3.55 electron volts above the balance band maximum. This energy is good. Uh, this energy is in good agreement with this value. So these results suggest that uh, deep in-gap states stem from oxygen vacancies. Uh, I will briefly discuss an origin of unconventional photodielectric effect in zinc substituted lanthanum aluminate. Uh, as shown by this schematic figure, uh, the electrons and holes are generated by the photo irradiation. If the photo excited electrons are trapped in oxygen vacancies, and if the photo excited holes are localized in oxygen 2p, oxygen 2P orbitals, uh, they are expected to form the photo-induced dipoles. So we suggest that the origin of unconventional photodielectric effect is the electric response of photo-induced dipoles. Finally, uh, I will introduce the recent development of lanthanum aluminate based photodielectric effect. Uh, we synthesize the lanthanum aluminate in nitrogen atmosphere to introduce the oxygen vacancies. This figure shows the frequency dependence of the electric permittivity and tangent delta in reduced lanthanum aluminate. The black circles indicate the results for dark state, and red circles indicate the results under the photo radiation. Uh, you can find the dielectric permittivity is enhanced by 120% at 1 MHz due to photo irradiation. Uh, this rate of change is much higher than that in zinc substituted lanthanum aluminate. Furthermore, the tangent delta is unchanged, uh, especially, in the low, uh, especially in the high frequency region. Uh, these results suggest that uh, we can control the amount of unconventional photodielectric effect by changing way to introduce the oxygen vacancies. Let me summarize my talk here. The dielectric permittivity and the tangent delta are measured in zinc substituted lanthanum aluminate and uh, photo irradiation. The dielectric permittivity of zinc substituted lanthanum aluminate in the high frequency region is enhanced due to photo irradiation with slight increase of tangent delta. Uh, we suggest that the unconventional photodielectric effect stems from the photo-induced dipoles in zinc substituted lanthanum aluminate. Uh, the colossal unconventional photodielectric effect has been observed in lanthanum aluminate, which was synthesized in the re uh, reducing atmosphere. And we believe that the optical control of the electric permittivity opens a new route to develop the innovative photoelectronic devices. Uh, for example, uh, laser control touch displays uh, may be realized. Uh, if you use it, uh, you will be able to control the screen by photo radiation, uh, like uh, science fiction films. Uh, if the photo tunable dielectric materials are realized, uh, they may bring the science, science fiction closer to reality. Uh, the present study appeared in AIP publishing newsletter. Uh, the present study uh, is published in this paper. And recently, uh, we have demonstrated the unconventional photodielectric effect in zinc substituted barium aluminate. Please look at this paper uh, if you'd like. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for this nice talk. It's open to questions. Uh, 
your low frequency dielectric relaxation remind me Maxwell Wagner contribution to permittivity. So cannot we explain all your effects by change of conductivity of your system with radiation and and related appearance of Maxwell Wagner polarization? All right, okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your question. Practically you can distinguish it uh, uh, yeah. when you will measure permittivity on samples with different thickness. If you uh, will have dif uh, different permittivity in samples with, di with different thickness, then it means that you change just conductivity and the depletion layer by electrodes will be all the time same and then you will have change. You will have all the time same capacity with different thickness. It means different permittivity. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, in, this, in this case, uh, the energy of right source is 3.4 electron volt, and uh, the, uh, the band gap energy of random alignate is 5.6 electron volt. Uh, the, photo excited uh, the number of photo excited carriers is extremely low, I think, uh, extremely low. And so, uh, in this case, uh, conductivity, uh, uh, I think that uh, conductivity is low and uh, the photo radiation. But you have always some oxygen vacancies and then you can have uh, some uh, 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 mm -hmm. localized level in band gap. Yeah, just, just uh, I remind you, uh, try to measure permittivity on samples with different thickness and then, then you will have a direct proof whether it is it defect or real effect. Uh, okay. uh, defect, uh, number of defects? Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, we can discuss uh, I, it have, later. Yeah. I haven't checked uh, yet uh, the number of defects. Uh, I will yeah. try to check uh, in future. Yeah. We can discuss it later. Ah, okay, thank you very much. Just short questions requiring a short answer. Well, the short question is have you measured the temperature dependence? Oh, temperature uh, under photo irradiation? Yes, uh, the entire effect. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, at, yeah, uh, I already measured, I have already measured. Uh, put, uh, the enhancement of directed permittivity uh, disappear uh, at uh, 700, uh, about 700 Kelvin. Yeah, that's yeah. not surprising, but uh, if you measure low temperature at 60 K, there's an anomaly in lanthanum aluminum oxide, which is electronic, mm -hmm. probably. Have you seen any effect there at 60 Kelvin? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, would you? Have you measured at 60 Kelvin? 60 Kelvin? 60, 60. Uh, 60. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this one? Uh, six. 60 Kelvin. Kelvin, oh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I have, I have not measured at uh, 60 Kelvin. Sorry. And very short and very short answer. Uh, <laughs> yes, <what>? no. <laughs> what is it? It's not yes, no. But what is the lifetime of these in-gap states? If it's, if they're long-lived, you mm. might start exciting them into the conduction band and getting again photo-excited carriers. Oh, the, uh, this. Lifetime? <laughs> the lifetime of your states you're, you're in the gap. What is the lifetime? Uh, Do you know? Uh, okay. And, uh, at present, uh, I, 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 I don't know uh, about in gap states in detail. Yeah. And okay. lifetime is um, origin of lifetime is, is unknown. Okay, no, you can sorry. discuss this after we, after we take the photo. This again, short, yes, no, nothing more. <laughs> uh, there is a, in case band tighten it, if you reduce the oxygen, it makes a 10 times more of that constant. It's sometimes referred to the uh, defect mode. Have you examined defect mode? Uh, Say yes or no. Uh, yes, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, please discuss later. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. I would like to thank all speakers and
turn it on. Oh, okay. Uh, everybody should just uh, come up to the stage for the photo.